Hi, I'm Polly Courtney, and this is a really short video about putting on a book launch. It's part of a series of videos about how to professionally self-publish your book. Basically means doing what a traditional publisher would do, but doing it better. Why hold a book launch? I do it for two reasons. Firstly, I want to give something back to all the people who've helped me get to publication. Friends, family, designers, editors, people who helped with my research. Last time I invited the guy from Ryman's who'd stayed up late getting the banners done for me. Secondly, I do it to generate a buzz. There's a risk that you get to publication day and think, hmm, what now? A launch dude generates photos, videos, really word of excited. mouth, a story for the press, and it gives you a captive audience on the day who will buy your book. Readers generate reviews, and reviews generate more readers. So, first thing you need is a venue. In my case, I use a bar. I've noticed you get a better turnout when you offer free alcohol. Once you've got a venue, and a date that works, you need to tell people about it. Draw up a guest list. I separate mine into two, friendly types and official types. You'll need to design your invitations, which you'll probably want to email out. Facebook events tend to get ignored. I use MailChimp for my mail shots. It stops things getting trapped in junk folders, and it allows people to unsubscribe if they're not into what you're doing. You should keep track of who's coming in case you get too many guests, or not enough. As a rule of thumb, about a third of the people I invite tend to come, and half of them bring plus ones. You'll need to liaise with the venue over things like minimum spend at the bar, free drinks, food, timing, lightings, any equipment you'll need, like mics. And you'll want lots of photos from the event, so get a friend with a camera. Or if you've got spare cash, hire a photographer. I like to plaster the place with my own branding. Some of this costs money, like the pull-up banners, but most of it's a DIY job involving a can of spray mount and some double-sided sticky tape. You'll be selling your books, so make sure you've got signs saying how much they'll be, and a money tin. Oh, and you'll need books too. If you've got press coming, you'll need goodie bags. I like to have goodie bags for the people I thank in my speech too. Ah yes, you need to do a speech. I know most authors hate public speaking, but you can't hide in a corner on your big day. Plan it in advance. You can read it from the page if you like. You might want to read from your book, or get someone to do it for you. If you want to push your ebooks, get some little cards done with QR codes that link straight to the download page. For anything like that, I recommend Moo.com. You'll need some help on the night. People on the door, people selling your books, people liaising with the venue. You might want a DJ too. It's good to have a written plan of the event so that people helping know what's going on. If your book is set in a particular world, you could try and immerse your guests in that world. I used a wall of live tweets with a scripted story involving the main characters, which guests could interact with via their phones. I also stuck a load of whiteboard sheets on the walls, giving details of the charities involved in my research and letting people leave comments. At the end of the event, you might be knackered, but you've still got more work to do. You should follow up straight away with any press you came along, and you should send out a pre-prepared press release the morning after with photos from the event. You should also thank all your friends and family for coming and remind them to read the book in a public place, chuckling loudly at the funny parts. It's a lot of hard work, but I think it's well worth the effort, even if all you do is give your friends a good time. I hope that's a bit helpful. Good luck. <laughs>